Hello, everybody. This week we change gears, moving from classical European theorists who emerged in response to the first and second industrial revolutions in Europe to early modern and then post-World War II America with Talcott Parsons and Robert Merton. Parsons continued to a large extent within the European macro-sociological tradition, what C. Wright Mills referred to as grand theory. Parsons might be viewed as expanding and refining the Durkheimian tradition and his metaphor of society as like a human body with structures and functions. Parsons developed a more modern image with the, end quote, social system and its component subsystems that function to maintain equilibrium. Robert Merton's work, by contrast, in the words of Hamilton, symbolized most strongly the crucial distinction between Parsons' use of structural functional theory and the middle range concerns of most of his ex-students." Merton and his cohort thereby transformed Parson and the Europeans into an empirical research discipline. In 1948, he published a paper roundly criticizing his former teacher, claiming that Parson's desire to develop a total system of sociological theory in which observations about every aspect of social behavior, organization, and change promptly find their preordained place. This has the same exhilarating challenge and the same promise as those many all-encompassing philosophical systems which have fallen into deserved misuse. End quote. In week eight, we will read Dylan's chapter four, seeking to get a broad overview of Parsons and Merton. The discussion question focuses on a very current set of problems and offers more opportunities for intuition as you begin to study the theorist and make the transition to the modern and postmodern world. It will give you a chance to relax a bit after completing your first papers. In week nine, we will turn to a closer and more careful reading of selections from the work of Robert Merton and Middle Range Theory. Here you will encounter the first real tools for evaluating theories. Note that the discussion forum on evaluating theories is already in place. Over the weekend, I added a rubric to give you a sense of the expectations. Please read the rubric carefully and ask questions now. It is important that everyone understands how the forum will be graded. Good luck this week.